So, um, so we had a good year, a very solid year. We, uh, we had uh, uh, 300 million of cash flow, 825 million of EBITDA. Our realized price was around $82 a barrel. We also uh, held the cost, which is great. Our operating costs were slightly down, about 4% to, to $20 a barrel. So uh, the, uh, we've now had several years where the prices have high. The, uh, we've had tax, uh, the ta obviously we had a very unstable tax regime in the UK which caused our tax rates to go up and our well, tax expenses. It has expenditure. been stable, just not in your favour, to uh, be fair. I mean, no, they haven't changed it again, have no, they? Well, they've just changed it a few weeks ago. They've added another year for the energy profits levy. Yes. So instead of that being ending in 28, it's gone to 29. So it has been, it continues to be slightly challenging for sure. However, I think we're, uh, we're committed to the UK and we're going to increase our, uh, both our asset base and our, uh, our organic and inorganic asset base. And uh, we continue to invest significantly in the UK. So I think that's uh, given really our tax asset. We have a very large tax asset in terms of credits, about $2, $2, $2 billion at the end of the year. We get another one and a half billion dollars uh, next year, 2025. So we have a very large tax asset, which really uh, gives us the pivot for growth. Mm -hmm. the, uh, we've reduced our debt now to our net debt to EBITDA is 0.6, which is very, very healthy. Uh, our debt's also been, uh, is matures in 2027, end of 27 mostly. So I think uh, this is the time for us to grow. And, uh, and, and again, we're looking to both organic and inorganic growth in uh, using our tax asset. You've noted that 2024 also will see a further reduction in future emissions. And yet it's quite a fine line, isn't it, between trying to prioritize growth, but also trying to decarbonize. How are you managing that balance and how difficult is it for you to decarbonize an incredibly carbon intensive sector? Yeah, no, so the assets we take are, uh, are carbon heavy when we take them, but we have reduced our emissions very significantly by 41% since 2018. We are also in committed to investing to reduce uh, by 2040 to net zero, which is a, a commitment we've made uh, last year. We, uh, in Solombo, for example, we're, we're investing almost 100 million pounds in, in, a, in reducing the facility size, which will also take the flare out and reducing emissions by more than 90%. So we're, we're continuing to move forward and it's extremely important. I think it's important to recognize actually, I think COP28 was a, was a quite a, a watershed event and Dr. Uh, Sultan Jabber did a, an excellent job at uh, uh, putting together uh, really a framework to move forward. The industry is committed. I mean, we've had, as you, as you know, we've had uh, um, almost 40% of all producers, 50 companies sign up to, to reduce emissions by, uh, to zero by 2050. And uh, 30 of those are NOCs. So I think the industry is committed. And I think we are very committed as Enquest in the UK to reduce our emissions. Can I come back to that UK windfall tax? Because when it was introduced, the oil price was at a much higher level. I mean, 120 plus at its highest, well over 100. But uh, obviously prices have been well and truly down below that level since then. And even this year, uh, averaging around what the, the 80 to 85 mark. Are you surprised that the tax has stuck around for so long in that context? I think it's, uh, it's, it's reduced the, the investment and the uh, continuing uh, production in the, in the UK. The production is down from 4.5 million, million barrels in, in 2000, but even more exasperated over the last uh, couple of years. It's last year is down 20%. We're, we're producing 1.3 million barrels a day, quite significantly down. But more importantly, the investment cadence has gone down very significantly. If you look at 13 and 14, and this is OG UK data, uh, OE UK data, it, it, we were investing about 18 to 20 billion in uh, 10 years ago. Last year we invested 4 billion and that's not uh, adjusting for inflation. So the, the, uh, the amount of fields coming on are much less. We want to put more gas fields on. The big gas field that was put on was Rosebank. Uh, the commitment was there. But really that one field uh, just replaces one year's worth of, uh, of volumes. And for the last four years we haven't at all replaced the investments in terms of the volumes that we're producing in the UK.